Good morning, beloved of God. It is a new dawn. Good morning and win today. Good morning and be blessed today. Good morning. It is well with you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I say good morning to your life. Good morning to your health. Good morning to your family. Good morning to your finances. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your business. Good morning to your marriage. Good morning to everything that is asleep in your life. I say awake. It is dawn. A new dawn and a fresh beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. You are watching Prayer and Bible Reading on DICN Ministries. Today on Prayer and Bible Reading, we shall be talking about the persevering faith. But before we go into our message for today, let us first look at the word faith. What is faith? Faith is a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. But according to the book of Hebrews 11 verse 1, faith is confidence of what we hope for and the assurance of what we do not see. This means faith is a firm expectation that God will do all that he has promised us in Christ Jesus. Someone once asked me, can faith work alone? My answer for you today is that faith cannot work alone because faith is not an isolated spiritual force. Faith works in concert. Faith works with its fruits to accomplish its purpose. And what are the fruits of faith? The fruits of faith are love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, endurance, perseverance, faithfulness, and self-control. These are the fruits of faith. Faith works with love, joy, peace, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, perseverance, endurance, and self-control to accomplish its purpose. Now the question is, what are the works of faith? Faith sees what others cannot see. Its joy is in the reality of the future things, which enables the believers to understand the unseen universe and is right in Christ Jesus. Faith enables the believers to overcome fear and all the barriers that rob the faithfulness of God's blessings. For example, the Bible says by faith, Moses stretched his staff to the Red Sea, and the Israelites walked through the dry ocean bed. Faith provides strength for believers to endure hardship and difficult times. By faith, Joseph endured the prison conditions. By faith, Paul and Silas counted it all joy to suffer for what they believe, to suffer for our Lord Jesus Christ in Philippi. Faith strengthens the believers to persevere, even when the promise seems to be delayed in its fulfillment. Patience and perseverance are the essential instruments of faith. So today on prayer and Bible reading, we are going to take one of the essential instruments of faith to enlighten our mind on how to receive from God. So therefore, my message for you today is the persevering faith. What do I mean by persevering faith? Persevering faith means to continue to trust in to have confidence in and to believe in someone or something when it is difficult. In other words, to be faithful to the end. And for this reason, let's open our Bibles to the book of James 1 and let's read verse 12. The book of James 1 and let's read verse 12. I read, Blessed is the one who perseveres 
under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Hallelujah. We have heard it from the book of James 1 verse 12 that blessed is one who persevere under trial because having stood the test, he will receive the crown of life. A good example of a persevering faith was what a Canaanite woman demonstrated in the book of Matthew 15 from verse 21 to 28 where she ran after Jesus Christ for the deliverance of her daughter who was demon possessed. When you read this book of Matthew 15 verse 21 to 28, you will see that this woman keeps imploring Jesus to have mercy on her. She said, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of David, have mercy on me. Indicating that she clearly understands, I mean, have faith and a strong conviction that Jesus is the promised Messiah. The scripture are foretold. But instead of helping her, Jesus first ignores her and then let her know that he did not come to be the Messiah of people like her. By this statement, this woman will have given up and surrendered to a problem. But she continued to follow Jesus because she was determined. Her determination even grew stronger despite the rejection and humiliation she received from the disciples. And when Jesus saw a persevering faith, he said to her, Woman, you have a great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that very moment. People of God, what lesson do we learn from this Canaanite woman? I think the first lesson we learn is the persistence of this woman. She just wasn't prepared to give up. She was so determined. The second lesson we learn from this woman is that she's a woman of faith. Irrespective of her background, she is a woman of great faith. She demonstrated a persevering faith, faith that endures to the end. If this woman is not a woman of faith, the contact she received would have discouraged her. But instead, she applied a persevering faith that moved Jesus to attend to her. Another lesson we learn from this woman is that she was a diligent seeker. A diligent seeker is one who believes God in both good and hard times. I mean, one who is steadfast in his faith. One who sees his good time as a reason for believing God. Just as he sees his hard time as a reason for believing God as well. And the last lesson we learned from her is that she was full of patience, endurance, and perseverance, which are the essential instruments of faith. So, viewers, I have a question for you. And my question is, if you were the Canaanite woman, how would you feel? At that moment, Jesus was ignoring you. And his disciples were urging him to drive you away. How would you feel? I believe to any woman being, this is a moment of conflict. But in all this, this woman never stopped following Jesus. I know with what happened to the Canaanite woman, someone may be wondering, must I be humiliated before receiving from God? I want to let you know that if you have decided to follow Jesus, and receive from him. You must be ready to emulate this woman. You must be ready to exercise great faith under great trial and temptation. You must be ready to exercise patience, perseverance, and endurance. You need faith to follow Jesus. A man without faith is a man without patience, endurance, and perseverance. 
because these are the essential tools. I mean, essential instruments of faith. So to follow Jesus, you must have faith and all its components. Finally, people of God, when you encounter situations that tends to be contrary to the promise of God in your life, you are expected to cultivate the attitude of Christ in the face of persecution, tribulation, and temptation. Because to be like Jesus, that is our goal. Remember, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ recognized the faith of the Canaanite woman and applauded her for it. So, like the Canaanite woman, when you are facing any unpleasant situation, don't be discouraged. Don't lose faith. Don't give up. Press on and the Lord will see you through. And if you try it, is as it should be by the divine will of God. Please, do not question God for he has reason for everything. I want you to know that trials that comes from Jesus helps our character development if it is accompanied by perseverance. God sometimes uses hard times to produce character, humility, maturity, and completeness in us so that we can share in His holiness and be equipped to enjoy the peace and the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In the book of Hebrews 12 from verse 1 to 2, the Bible instructs us all to run the race with perseverance. However, hardship and temptation disciplines us and improve our Christian character, thus making us a better disciples of Christ. So no matter what comes, and no matter what happens, even when the unexpected comes, please don't quit your Christian life. Never think that your case is not redeemable. You just have to be strong, calm, calculated, and be determined. Don't give up. Keep pressing in his name, in his way, and in his own time. The Lord will send the harvest. Give God time. The results are working themselves out. Slowly but surely. Someone is watching out for you. His name is Jesus Christ. And he will not leave you, not forsake you. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray. But before we pray, I want you to know that prayer is a powerful tool to communicate our hearts to God. Prayer reduces stress and helps one to cultivate patience, perseverance, endurance and trust in God. However, patience, perseverance and endurance are important in the prayer. Remember the Canaanite woman received help from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because she was a woman of persevering faith. So right now you need patience, perseverance, and endurance to receive from God. Right now, I want you to position yourself like someone who wants to receive from Jesus. Get ready to receive from Jesus. Remember the book of 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 says, Our weapon of warfare is not kind but divine to destroy the strongholds. Right now, I command every stronghold of Satan operating in your life, in your health, in your finances, in your family, in your career, in your business, in your relationship, in your marriage, to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every stronghold of Satan 
controlling your ability to pursue your goals in life, to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every barrier or obstacle Satan might have used or assigned to delay, disturb, or block your forthcoming favor to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever area of your life that is stagnant, receive breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare breakthrough in your life, breakthrough in your health, breakthrough in your family, breakthrough in your finances, breakthrough in your career, breakthrough in your business, breakthrough in your marriage, breakthrough in everything that has to do with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Every same power over you has been broken. Every satanic power over you has been broken. This is the day the Lord has made. And you will rejoice and be glad in it. With today's prayer and Bible reading, I believe that your testimonies have been restored and your needs have been met. So don't forget to send us your testimonies and praise reports to the comment section of this video or you can text us on the number on our social media account or you can send us email at dici ministries 91 at gmail.com thank you so much for watching please don't forget to watch our next episode of prayer and bible reading on dici ministries thank you god bless you